Hi friends, welcome to Thinkers IAS. This is the field video of our crash course on current affairs, environment and ecology segment. To download the PDF document of the crash course, please click on the link in the description box below. It helps in an easy revision. Before starting, please note that every aspect discussed here is very very important. We carefully revised and refined topics to suit the requirements of prelims 2020. Please listen carefully. Let's start. In this video, we will cover these topics that is Jal Shakti Abhiyan, Jal Jeevan Mission, Global Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Program that is GSLEP, Cheetah, the Conservation and Protection of the Great Indian Buster, Biofuel, Biojet Fuel. Now let us look into Jal Shakti Abhiyan. It is a campaign for water conservation. It involves citizens in this campaign. It is time bound campaign with a mission mode approach. Main focus is on water stress districts and blocks with various focus activities. There is no additional funding or specific targets for the campaign to achieve. Please remember this is no fund allocation for this scheme. Major focus activities include targeted communication campaign, watershed development, rainwater harvesting, renovation of traditional and other water bodies, application of space technology, reuse borewell recharge structures and intensive afforestation. Now let us look into Jal Jeevan mission. This scheme is revamped version of National Rural Drinking Water Program that is NRDWP that was launched in 2009. It aims to provide functional household tap connection that is FHTC to every rural household. Har ghar nal se jal. Water is supplied at 55 liter per person per day by the year 2024. In simple terms, it seeks to provide tap water connectivity to every rural household. It also seeks to develop reliable drinking water sources augment the existing sources. Please note it is a joint effort of different ministries. It is a collaborative effort of various ministries of the government of India and state governments. It is coordinated by Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation also called as Ministry of Jal Shakti. Global Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Program that is GSLEP. This program is an alliance of all the 12 snow leopard range countries. Snow leopard is present in India, Nepal, Bhutan, China, Mongolia, Russia, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. That is South Asia and Central Asian countries. A snow leopard survey called Snow Leopard Population Assessment SLPAI, has been prepared by the various institutes like Wildlife Institute of India, Nature Conservation Foundation and GSLEP Committee, Global Tiger Initiative Council, World Wide Fund for Nature, World Bank, Global Tiger Forum and Wildlife Conservation Trust in collaboration. This is a team effort and not by a single institute. If you look at the conservation status, it is classified as vulnerable by IUCN and it is placed under schedule 1 of Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972. That means it is given highest protection in India. They are listed in Appendix 1 of the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species that is CITES and Convention on Migratory Species CMS. In India, it is present in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. Its habitat is cold and high mountains. Now let us look into cheetah. Cheetah is extant in India but Asiatic cheetah is still present in Iran and African cheetah is present in African countries. There is an effort to reintroduce cheetah to India. For that we need huge unrestricted grasslands and scrubs. Re recently Supreme Court allowed the center to introduce the African cheetah from Namibia in Africa to a suitable habitat in India. 
panel recommended Kuno Palpur in Madhya Pradesh, Velavadar National Park in Gujarat and Talchapar Sanchuri in Rajasthan for reintroducing Cheetah. Please remember these location and states. Cheetah is a keystone species of dry forest, scrub forest and savannas. So what is keystone species? These are the species which have an extremely high impact on a particular ecosystem relative to its population. Asiatic cheetah is much stronger and faster than African cheetah. Now let us look into the conservation and protection of the great Indian bustard. GIB that is great Indian bustard is endemic to Indian subcontinent found in central India, western India and, and eastern Pakistan. Its habitat is arid and semi-arid grasslands, open country with thorn scrub, tall grass interspersed with cultivation. It avoids irrigated areas. Please remember it is not found in thick forest and rainforest. It is specifically a species of grassland and dry region. In India, it is present in desert national park sanctuary in Rajasthan, Malaya in Gujarat, Aurora in Maharashtra and Bellari in Karnataka. It is included in Schedule 1 of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972, IUCN Red List Critically Endangered Species. Recently, GIB declared as endangered migratory species at the conference of the parties to the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species CMS of Wild Animals. It is included in Annex 1 of CMS. There are only few individuals are left in India. Major threats to the population include habitation destruction, overgrazing, over high tension power lines which obstructs its flying and, pred and predation by domestic dogs. In this slide, we can see the great Indian bustard uh, and its family and conservation measures. Now let us look into Indian rhinoceros. Indi Assam has 91% of total rhino population of India. Majority of them are in Kaziranga National Park and a few in Pobitara Wildlife Sanctuary. It is categorized as vulnerable and it is a Schedule 1 animal under WPA 1972. There is a program called Indian Rhino Vision 2020 IRV 2020. It was launched in 2005. It is an ambitious effort to attain a wild population at least 3000 greater one horned rhino spread over seven protected areas in the Indian state of Assam by the year 2020 because rhino is heavily concentrated in Kaziranga only. It is a part of species recovery plan. Kaziranga National Park in Assam, India and holds about 70% of the world population. IRV 2020 aims to translocate rhinos from Kaziranga National Park and Pobitara Wildlife Sanctuary to five other protected areas namely Manas, Lokhava, Burracharpuri, Kochmora, Dibru Saikova and Orang. Now let us look into biofuel. Biofuel is a hydrocarbon fuel that is produced from organic matter in a short period of time. Usually hydrocarbons take millions of years for formation through geological processes extreme ex <laughs> example petrol. But biofuels are also a category of hydrocarbons produced from organic matter in a short period of time. There are different generations of biofuels based on the materials used and advance in technology. Let us look into this. There are different generations of biofuels based on materials used and advance in technology. Let us look into this. First generation biofuel. It uses the food crop like wheat and sugar for making ethanol and use oil seeds for biodiesel by conventional method of fermentation. Second generation biofuels. It uses non-food crops and feed stocks such as jatropha, wood, grass, seed crops and organic waste. Third generation biofuels. It uses specifically engineered algae whose biomass is converted into biofuels. 
for generation biofuels it aims at not only producing sustainable energy but also a way of capturing and storing co2 in short first generation uses food crops second generation uses non food crops third uses algae and fourth generation goes one step ahead and capture and store co2 and use it as fuel biojet fuel recently an32 transport plane was formally fleet certified by drdo to fly with the 10% biojet blended atf that is aviation turbine fuel made from jatropha oil and aviation turbine fuel in simple terms biodiesel jatropha oil is blended to atf and used in aircraft india's first biofuel powered flight was successfully tested between dehradun to delhi in august 2018 by spice jet airlines this is first for a developing country like india but developed countries have already experimented this next part will be uploaded shortly please share this with your friends for prelims revision is very important please download the pdf study material of this course link is provided in the description box below thank you happy learning